are you going? Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. No touch. <laughs> Come on, let's go look. See, I thought I saw one of these driving around once and I thought, ah, couldn't be. It's a Brazilian market. This is beautiful. No touch. Good boy. Toyota. Very cool. This car is about three times the size. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I know, honey, but we also have to think about your time frame, right? Well, I think we're going to be going like a moment, unfortunately. What do you like? Hmm? Wanna look in here? Come. Come here. Once again, uh, Scott at Cold War Motors, his refusal to purchase anything new has come through clutch. If you recall, I worked on his Toro lawnmower some time ago and working on the Han, I realized that it had the exact same Briggs engine on it, five horsepower. And since the linkage on this one is MIA, there were just a couple of random springs fit there. I didn't have anything to make a pattern off of. So I do have new springs coming from France of all places. Yes, I could probably adapt something else, but you know, with spring rates and lengths and stuff, we just don't know what we need. So it occurred to me that I could get the pattern for the governor link from Scott. The cheapest I was able to find a governor link from Briggs and Stratton, which of course is a discontinued part. It was about, mm, I think 11 bucks and then 20 odd bucks to ship it for basically a piece of piano wire with two bends in it. Three inches long from basically this uh, little bend to the other bend, which is at 90 degrees to the, to the first bend for whatever reason. So I'm going to bend this up and uh, make a part out of some scrap wire that I had around and it will cost me zero dollars. Plus I got to hang out with Scott for a while, which, you know, it's priceless really. I've got to see his Buick Roadmaster sedan recently acquired. It's a beauty. It's a phenomenal car. It's great. Once I have the springs, we'll install it. And of course, you'll be here to see all of that. Cheers. It's Friday night, so that's pretty excellent. I feel a little bit disheveled. Uh, tonight was one of those shifts that kind of kicked my butt a little bit. And uh, that's okay. I knew there was lots of exciting stuff waiting for me when I got home. Even some exciting things that... I didn't know were waiting for me when I got home. And I saw an owl on the way home on the drive, almost hit my car, but I always like seeing owls. I think they're pretty incredible. And well, I'm wearing my Volkswagen t-shirt and just by kind of total accident, I put Luke in his Volkswagen t-shirt today too. So we were kind of a matched pair. That's always fun. Uh, let's take a look at all the developments that have happened today. So let's start with first things first. These came all the way from 
Boisseul, which is in France. It's just south of the city of Limoges. So they actually traveled 7,348 kilometers to get here. Um, roughly 4,500 miles, I think. And funny enough, you know, Briggs & Stratton prides themselves on being an American classic sort of company, but I could not find these parts from the same buyer in the U.S. to save my life. So I had to get them from France. So these are, I already looked at them because I couldn't help it. Oh, come on out of there. There we are. That is the uh, Governor Link Spring for Goldie Hawn. And this is the throttle spring, they call it. So we'll be able to get that all buttoned up tonight. Um, that'll be the last parts for the governor and all that. We can get it running properly. And then, of course, the next question is, will it move? And I have a funny feeling it won't. I also, I had a heck of a time trying to find something that would work uh, in a 1032 thread by four inches. I could get just a Phillips head screw but I had to get like 15 and they were kind of, you know, it was around 12 bucks Canadian. Uh, I determined that this piece of 3 16 rod, three feet long, $5. And I made this and I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. So that's ready to go. And then when I got home, this was waiting for me and I didn't even know it was there. Open here. All right, right, will do. This came, Okay, I've had this before and it took a way longer time. This came all the way from Denmark. What the heck? There's all kinds of stuff in here. Holy smokes. Have nice summer is easy. Well, you know what? This is a sticker. Yeah, I know who's going to love that. <laughs> Amelia is going to love that. A bunch of samples. Okay, well, that's great. But the main thing... Oh, those are tiny. Oh, I've, I should have looked. Those are tiny. Anyway, these are our new channel stickers. And um, I should have made them probably quite a lot bigger. But there's a whole bunch here. So, well, hey, they're pretty inexpensive anyway. And they look great. They feature the Neverest. So, I guess I'll know for next time to make them a little bigger. Whoops. Oh, well. That's what we got. So... They do look excellent. Awesome. Time to get to work. I guess I was being a little optimistic before when I said the uh, carburetor was not coming off anymore. Because to get this linkage on, well, you pretty much have to take the carburetor off. Just to get this one linkage in. The rest of it is easy peasy, but just this one. So, yeah, here we are. Sure, if I'm going to be able to even get this back together. Bending that a little bit. In you go. In we go. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. This little plate has to come back on the other side of that. There we are. Okay. <laughs> While you're waiting for me to get through this, how about I show you the awesome little 1967 El Camino I saw today when I was out shopping. Um, spoke with the owner a little bit, super nice guy. Car has a 327 in it. Um, I forgot to ask what it has for transmission, but it is uh, still running on bias ply tires. He said it kind of wallows around in the corners a little bit, so he was thinking of putting radials on it, but uh, boy, it's a fantastic car. Just looks great.
Well, famous last words I know, but I'm hoping that this is the last time I ever put this guy on. At least for a while. What's kind of exciting about this is we can actually set up the throttle cable. So that stop. So that should be all the way over here. That's a definite stop. Slow, fast, choke. Ha <laughs> ha! The whole thing works. Excellent. All right, I just put some fresh fuel in it. Let's see if, uh, if it'll go. Well, it does run, but uh, as you can tell, it hunts a little, so governor needs some adjusting and um, just some other tweaking, I think, just to get it to run properly, but it will idle down and that kind of thing. But hey, it's running. That's uh, that's a big step. And of course, the next step after that is, uh, yeah, it runs, but will it will it move? And I'm I don't know. I I think our uh, our chances there of it moving are not good. But that's a problem for another day. All right, well, Goldie Hawn is running. Uh, obviously, she still needs a little help, but at least we're on the right path. And uh, for now, I've just got the door open to let some of the exhaust out of here and bring the Jeep in. And I'm gonna head in for the night and go to bed. So, good night, Goldie. And until next time, keep it in the litter box. Cheers.